Now, this is a, the fly I'm going to be tying. It's basically just a pheasant tail. Uh, it's a cross between a nymph wet fly. It's got a nymph type shape, but it's obviously got a wet fly. It's a it's a good river fly. It's a good law fly as well. It's certainly working the loss. Um, pheasant tail fibre is a great fibre. Uh, and it gives impression of many flies. But this is a nice wee pattern. Now, sizes are mainly fish would be a size 14 would probably be my best size. You go bigger, you go smaller, you can do what you like with it. As, as I say, it's a good fly. Now, the hook I'm using, this is a full and well, it's a, it's a size 14. As I say, it's the all purpose medium. Uh, so, thread, the dark brown, uni, and eight oh. Now, I've waxed the thread. And just come down maybe two or three mil and then the way down I'm actually going to tie in the rib at this point it's easy to do it this way I find it to try and keep the body uh, quite slim and it's easy to wind so I'm knowing to a point like there which I'm going to stop at the point of the hook now for the tail and the body I'm using this is the pheasant tail fibre natural pheasant tail what a nice brown colour now, I usually put about six or so fibres for the tail and the body, it helps to form that. So I bring it 90 degrees, tips line up, tear it away from the feather. Tail length can be short as long as you like. Too, don't want it too long because if the longer it is, the more likely it will break. So I usually tie it about the, the body length. So I hold the body length fibres in my finger and thumb and then a couple of turns just to, to hold. Just check, just to see where it's sitting. If they're not happy, which I'm not. Just a tad short, so I'm just going to stretch it out a wee bit. So we are. A couple of turns, a wee quick look. Aye, that's fine. Keeping the thread always tight, just lift these fibres out of the way. And then bring your thread up. And you stop at that it's a basic thorax length away from the eye or so. And then for the body is the pheasant tail, obviously. It's the weakest fibre. So to protect that, wind it the opposite way that you wind your thread on and your rib. Just work your way up. So that's about two thirds of the way up. Come across to tie it in because we're obviously winding towards our cell. We have to lock it in. So we basically go across the pheasant tail fibre with a turn. We turn onto the hook. That locks that turn in. Do the same again. If you don't do that, it'll unravel. So you're basically locking in the turn. Trim that away. What's going to protect the body is your rib. And that's wound the normal, the same way I wind my thread. And across the pheasant tail fibre. You're looking around about five turns. Make sure it's secure. Bend and break that away. Marks your thread. Now the hackle I'm going to be using is this one. This is just a natural brown hen. It's an Indian hen. Just cheap Indian hen necks. Uh, ideal for these type of flies. I've obviously taken one now. Fibre length can be, I've tied them quite long. Shorts up to yourself. You're looking within the bend of the hook or just slightly more, but not much. So what we're going to do is we're going to locate the tip of the feather with my hackle pliers, draw back these fibres, there's a tip, so we can tie it in, then we trim away about, leave enough, obviously, so you can tie it in, using the turn, make sure there's wax on your thread, just gives you the extra grip, back to the hackle pliers, now this, depending on how good the feather is, how thick the fibres are, Lighting the fly with this, this hackle, I'm looking at this one, two, going into the third turn, it's fine. Cross your thread, three, four turns, make sure it's secure. Trim away. Obviously, there's some fibers going forward, just draw them back. Tidy up. Again, wax on the thread. Now, for the head, I'm just going to use Peacock Herald. It's just a fine peacock hair. This is a small tail feather. It's one of the smaller ones. I try and select one with the herald's 
not too long. So we remove one, tie it in by the tip, catch this on. By trimming it means if you trim it, the fibres straight, you get no fibres going forward. I'm just making sure that's secure. Again, a wee touch of wax. Now you can wrap the, th the hair around the thread, but you have to be very light with it, or you'll, you'll break it. So we'll wrap the hair around the thread. As we wind towards the eye, stroke the fibres back. Take your time to get to the eye, then we can obviously take back the peacock hair roll. Sure it's tied in. You can see you obviously get fibres forward of the eye there, so we try and stroke these back. Don't worry if you get one or two going. I always get one or two. Touch of wax there. Once it's drawn it back, tuck it back, you can break it away. See how it looks. Take my time here. We touch of arm, it's showing my thread. And then whip finish, this will lock in your whip finish really well. And there we go. It's a basic pheasant tail. You can call it a nymph, you can call it a wet fly. It's a good wee pattern. But I would say it's a fly, I would certainly tie a few. I mean, I would tie them in different sizes. 14 is a great size, 16 obviously, and if 12, they're great as well. Uh, depends on it, it'll represent a few species of fly. Uh, it's a nice style and a simple fly to tie. So I hope you enjoyed that and thank you for watching.